Oh, they're pulling this bait straight off. So I got an old washing bowl, whacked him, and the next thing I know, <laughs> holy crap! <laughs> that is the biggest nest I've ever seen in my life. Whoa! whoa, whoa. I'm assuming the grubs can't sting you, I don't know. Look how many's in there. Got him. Consider yourself a fisherman. Just how far do you want to take it? Do guys, I've gone into the potting shed so I thought I'll just check out where I put some watering cans. There's a big hornet there. So I got an old washing bowl, whacked him, and the next thing I know, loads and loads came out. Army, I am talking, not wasps. Big hornets. They are in there. Check out the size of that one. It's not a wasp, it is a big hornet. I don't know if there's any other dead ones in there. I'm worried about the live ones. So I'm running if they come out. They seem to want to go up this back corner. So, therefore I go in there. Can you guys see anything? Oh, there's one. There's one on the floor. Two on the floor. I don't want to drop it on me underneath there. See him? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There, there, there. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that is the biggest nest I've ever seen in my life and I am so desperate to smash it and run. Oh there's one coming up. Well it's got to go but what do I do? It's got to be smashed. I've got to give it a bash of fly spray I feel first, run for it and then well, they're all over the floor. I don't want to crawl up my leg. Are they the African hornet? That is an immense nest, is it not? Let's see if I can wake a few people up. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, they ain't happy. There's a lot of buzzing going on in there. I've got to kill the queen, I think. He's a bit sketchy people, look at this guy, he's so angry. That's me out of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think the saying is retreat to a safer distance people. And then, I could get a broom and I'm gonna mash it. I can't be having those hornets there because the wife comes in here, look. Do a washing. I got boilies drying out in there. I'll show you. Why would a man dry out, dry out boilies, you ask yourself? Because I want to use them again. I wonder if I should give them one more pounding. They're on the floor. They're not happy. I do not want to step on one. They are big, about an inch or so long. I'm also wondering if they could be used as bait, dapping on the surface like they do flies. Has anybody ever caught a carp on a full one inch long hornet? Don't give me ideas. I've retreated into the garage because I'm not sure what to attack a hornet's nest with. <laughs> The things I do, it's going to be so many people say, don't touch it Graham. You must be joking, I think my wife would get killed with that lot. Never mind uh, 
me going around. I've been stung by a wasp trying to move it, stuff around and bumped into a wasp nest. It is not fun. I can't imagine what hornets are like. Now, do they have a queen? Is there a queen hornet? Does anybody out there know? Are they the Asian hornets? I'll try and film when they're close up later on. Hmm. A, a shovel? You almost want to break it down in one and just break it apart and look at it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it'd be a shame to break it all up, but it's got to go. I can't find anything with which to break it. I suppose this has got the longest handle to it. I'll just break it apart with this. It's like an eight-year-old boy in the 1950s who used to do stuff like this. What happens if, and that's how they learn, what happens if we, if we saw that branch off up there? Mate, get up there, saw the branch off, I'll stand underneath and see where it goes to. Crash. Needs to be a 1950s kid to know the stupid things we got up to, but we all survived. Hopefully I survived this one. There's some still here. Here we go, people. God, it's huge. It's huge. There's like honeycomb bits there. I'd like to bring it out just to show you. I don't think there's any in there. I really hope not. What do they make that of? Look, it's like paper or something. That's how they glue it together. Just there, some sort of slimy goo stuff on it. The thing is, there's a nice honeycomb bit there I want to look at. Oh, shut off. I think it was a blue bottle. <laughs> you can see that there. It's a sort of honeycomb section. And way down there, there's a honeycomb section. I'm going to see if I can catch some of these while they're still wiggling. Look at the size of them. Pick them up with a pair of long nose pliers, put them in a tub, freeze them, and see if I can catch a carp off the surface on them. I reckon if I wash them off, give them a wash first. <laughs> Washing a hornet when they're dead. Wash them off and flavour them with something and then just dap them. Oh my God, guys, I've got the actual honeycomb bit. There's a few hornets left there. But what's really interesting, there's grubs in there. Now, years ago, look up in the old books, I used to catch chub on wasp grubs. But these are big grubs. There's the honeycomb, and if you look just in there, you should be able to see the grubs moving. I'm assuming the grubs can't sting you, I don't know. Look how many's in there. Oh, what? Look at the size of that. It's very, very soft. There's my finger, which I can get too close to it. That is one, there's, well, it's a pair of long nose pliers. That would burst if I crushed it too hard. That is a big grub. Some of these kiddies, I wonder if I just freeze the whole thing in the freezer. Any hornet experts out there, I think freeze the whole thing. Oh, I've, got to get, I've got to get to work on this, guys. That is amazing. I've never seen that before. And how many are in there? I wonder if I got the queen or the king or the knight or whoever runs that joint. I'm going to get that in the freezer. And then when it's frozen, or maybe thawed out, there'll be capuche and then I can break it apart and use them as bait. That would be something. I'm so excited. I can hardly contain myself. I've changed my uh, method of operation, guys. I'm going to take them out of that honeycomb, not freeze a whole honeycomb just break them apart like this because they'll be in there look 
different sizes. Look at these kiddies. I'll put some bran in there. I'm not quite sure why. I thought they might sweat up. Now I wonder whether to chill them. They are so big, these grubs. Look at the size of them. And I wonder what all that white stuff is. They go for it, I think. So, oh yeah, plenty of bait. They break easily. Oh shit, there's a wasp. There's a hole in it. Uh -oh. Just give that one a little bit of sleepy dust. They burst really easily. Look at that thing. Is that the Asian one? I'm using a clear container here to pick up sort of the dead hornets that I can. Oh yeah, plenty of grubs in there. Oh my god. I bet there's people now that be going, he's using the most monstrous grubs ever. I cannot tell you the size of chub that will eat these. This, this piece is actually pretty hard. Just want to make sure I'm not kneeling on any, but there is a piece of the Hornet's sort of cake. I'm going to see how close I can zoom in on this. I don't know. In some of those, there are some live ones. So whether they're worker hornets or not, I don't know. I'm going to try and go in for you. See what we can get in there. I'll just use that. The black dots are their sort of the head stroke mandible. And I'll probably. I think if I freeze them, they're going to go really soft. I might have to go fishing. It's a good excuse tomorrow. And the waxy stuff over the top, does anybody know what that is? I'm going to pull one out, just so you can see the size of it. That there is just a grub and that's about, an, I guess it's nearly an inch long already. It sort of reminds me of that, one of those alien films where they're looking at those egg things that leap out and latch onto your face and lay an egg inside you and you turn into a, an alien thing. Hopefully one of these doesn't jump on me and laugh. I could probably leap about four feet in the air for one of these buzzes. Pretty sure there's another one moving in there trying to escape. Yeah, years ago they used to get the wasp cake. I think they call it a wasp cake break it open, crumble a lot of it up with ground bait and use the wasp grubs for, for chub fishing. That was absolutely standard amongst chub fishermen back in the 50s and even before that. Can you imagine the matchman now thinking, oh my God, how much is it going to cost me for a pint of these? There's my finger, just to give you a guide. They are absolutely a size two carp hook size. I wonder if I just chill those. Wifey won't like it, but I might have to pop them in the fridge. I think they should go fishing with me tomorrow. In here, I'm a bit suspect, because these are still the dozy ones. What I did was I, I opened the door, threw in a copy of War and Peace, and they all dropped dead from boredom. Does anybody know, are they the standard ones? Well, standard, it's about an inch and a quarter long. Or are they the Asian, the dreaded Asian invasive hornet? I'm putting the lid back on that, guys. I bet they could sting the life out of you. This one is just hatched out. And it's literally come out from the casing. There's another one over here. I'm putting them in here, but I've got a feeling. There, yeah, you can see them against that. That one could be a stinger. And 
the way that's moving, I have the feeling there's one in there. There's one. Look, look, look. There. They are huge. They're huge, man. They're huge. I assure you folks, it is only on the Totally Awesome Fishing Show do you get to see what real fishing is all about with real fishermen. What's that buzzing? I just got, I've got to be a bit careful here. Let's just check where she is, hang on. I think I'm safe, get these in the fridge. Don't make a noise. In you go, my beauties. Next to where the lettuce goes. She never goes in that drawer. I'll show you what I've got with the grubs. I've put them in the fridge to chill them, as you know. And of course, the wasps had a great big uh, nest around them to keep them warm. So, they're barely looking too lively. But I'm going to throw them in, to bring gloves, and we just see they're very, very soft. We'll see if anything will take them if I can get them out there. Oh, first one. The first one went out like a light. I can see a wear mark just there, guys, where somebody's fished here before. So here's Mr. Grub. Very, very soft. As you can see there, hopefully. I'm hoping I might get lucky here for you. I might need to put that shot further away. I think that's one of, it might be Bill Rushman's floats that he tied for me. I'm gonna have to be very careful. I've actually got a 13 foot match rod so that I can actually get out over the water. I don't need to knock those over get organized one fish is all we're looking for floats going down going down oh <laughs> well the wasp club works anyway little baby chub there and that was just on its own without throwing anything in the water I can want to see where the fish like them because they can pop them and there's all probably juice inside. Going down, I can actually see the bait crumbling over the bottom. Oh my gosh, I think something's had it off. God, they're actually hanging on the hook. I've seen the fish bolt off downstream, so I'm gonna get down a little bit closer. There is a slight tinge in the water. I don't know if there's a way of toughening them up. That they are absolutely very, very soft. All right, see if I can run that float further down.
Well, we finally found a chub guys, look. And there is the hornet grub in his mouth. Wow. So these things do work. Got another fish on, guys. I think it might be a dace or a roach. Another small, small chub. I got a small chub on. There we go. Only a small one, but they love these these hornet grubs. A little bit bigger chub, just about a swing of this one. No question that the bigger chub are spooky because of low water conditions. Well, I'm getting plenty of, of small chub and no sign of the bigger ones. Gradually I'm running out of bait. Three grubs left. Oh, that's a better fish. That's, oh, he's come off. I'm trying to keep over the far bank there, just along the edge there. Oh, they're pulling this bait straight off. Pretty well having it. Oh, there we go. As soon as it's uh, going through, I think it's because they're so squishy. You can see why they used, years ago, wasp grubs. Can you imagine what they would have done on the big chub using hornets? Two baits left. Once you burst that skin, you've, uh, you've got a limited chance. It's a one bite wonder. Come on, one good chub. They're just hammering it. Absolutely, look at this. Oh, so we're definitely, we got a dace, look. A dace on hornet grub. So we got a dace on a hornet grub, and that's a first for me. It's non-stop on the chub. Well, you cannot dispute, folks, that those chub absolutely nailed those grubs, those hornet grubs, virtually as soon as it hit the water. If I'd have seen bigger chub there, I probably would have caught them without any question of a doubt. But now I'm off in the car again. And so I am on the road to a fishery. Daytica water, it's got three lakes there. Middle lake, got the bigger fish in. I call it the left hand lake, it's nice bream and other stuff in. Long narrow lake, which I fished before. I think it's a fly fishing film, you'll see it. Let's move that over in the shade a bit for you. Um, that one's got smaller carp in it and some decent carp as well. So I'm aiming for carp. There might be some rud in there. I don't know whether the rudder are going to take a, one of these grubs this big. Let's get down there. Let's see if we can catch not just chub on a hornet, but a carp as well.
but I only need one small space. So that's a nice looking swim just there. A little bit tight on the rushes on the right. No doubt, plenty of fish under there. I think I fished there in the winter around that. So it's absolutely rammed, plenty of people, a few gaps over there. Not really anywhere to get out of the sun. I think here's as good as anywhere. Perhaps just this side of those overhangs. So I'm seeing quite a bit of mud down there stirred up. There might be a fish there, just here, see them. I wonder, are they going to like the wasp grub? Might have to put a bait in to get him uh, going first. Well, if I'm not him, but them. Just been talking to the bait if you just came around and uh, they've been four guys fishing where I am here, so hopefully a bit of bait's got in. They've just gone about an hour or so ago. And uh, I should be able to get Winkle something out. So I've baited up a bit of sweet corn down here close to try and uh, just down here by that pole. But there's mud coming up all over the place. And obviously you can catch off the top. But I'm wondering, two things, two challenges. One to catch on the lava and another to catch on a hornet off the top. Almost sure it's never been done here before. Maybe somebody else has. But I've got the float here. I'll show you the float. It's a little sort of a stick float, camouflage one. Homemade, somebody gave it to me. I think it might have been Bill Rush, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try that one. It only takes one BB, and I think it's a number four to cock it. It's not the fastest one to write, but I'm so close I can see anyway. Let's get one of these grubs in the water. I will show you anyway. Look, I froze this. This is the, um, the cone there, look, which I showed you early on. So there's all grubs inside there. Each of these cylinders is, as you can see it, a grub. So that could be a bit of ground bait. Here is a little bit of loose feed in the shape of hornets. I'm assuming they can't sting you when they're dead and frozen, but you never know. Yeah, look, you can see those. Inch, inch and a bit long. And the actual grubs I've had in the fridge for two days, they went absolutely comatose and they're like maggots. I thought they would die, but they're not. They've come right round. So I've got quite a few there to try. But I mean, it's really a one cast wonder, to be honest. They're so soft. Let's get one on the hook. Being a day ticket, we've got a couple of guys uh, having a little kick off on the bank over there, arguing between themselves. So I'm just going to. I'll have to put a few bleeps in this one. <laughs> Never the right go. No one's gone in the water yet though. Here we go. That's over the sweet corn. Guys, watch the float. If this is like chub fishing, it won't take very long. Something's on it already. I think small fish. There's a lot of effing going on over there. This is another good reason why in England we don't have any guns. There he goes. Oh, well, I suppose it's the entertainment factor. Oh, 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 oh hang on, hang on. <laughs> I didn't, didn't even see the float go, people. <laughs> First cast with a grub on. There we go. I mean, I'm going by those chub. They absolutely mullered these grubs. They're unbelievable. Just so lucky to... It's a good carp, look. Didn't even see the bite. Let's have a look at him. It's probably where there was four guys fishing here before. Mind you, they would be unlikely to put the bait there, I guess. I'm on six straight through. Didn't bother any hook links. Wow, that's a good carp. I'm going to put these out of the sun and keep them in the shade because they could be extremely valuable baits. 
Here he comes. Look at that. So if I get this one, it'll be chub and carp and dace on hornets. I could do, he's going well. Here he is. Common car, loads of commons in I think. Here we go. A standard car, common carp. Let's get him back. I think what I'm going to do is just mix a bit of this up. The actual honeycomb part. And we'll see uh, there's all bits of uh, wasps and uh, bits of hornets, bits of grubs. Give it a wet. This is all, it's all new to me folks. Soaking up a bit. I don't know what the black stuff is there. We'll find out. Quite a bit of it floats. Oh, there's a carp that's just just nosed it and he actually took he took the whole honeycomb. Here we go folks. They are so soft, but there must be some taste in them or something. Have you ever seen a maggot <laughs> that big? I'm surprised if you get bream on them, roach on them. I've tried to go for the most sensitive flow that I can, but to be honest, uh, I should think they just have it anyway. I'm just drawing it back into where I've seen a swirl. My float is just off the point of my rod right there. I don't know if you'll see it there. Goodness me, it's hot. I'm on. I'm on. This feels like a heavier fish. It's still kicking off over there, those guys. I don't know what's going to be the better fight to watch. The one on this rod or the one when they start. Come on, let's have a look at it. Probably eight. Ground baited with honeycombs. He's in, he's out, he's in. <clears throat> Number two. A bit bigger than the others, probably, probably sixes, sevens, that sort of size. Let's get it back. Jumbo bait this time, people. <laughs> Double hornet grub. Is it too much? Hopefully you just see the float. Just almost I could touch it with my rod top, like a pole fisherman. I'll try and keep the head can there. I would imagine they've eaten all that. Uh, sweet corn that I put in there trying to bring a few fish closer. Now if I try floating crust out there I might be able to pull some up on the surface and get one actually on the hornet itself. Oh, 
I think this float wants just a bit more body to it, perhaps a bit of balsa. Uh, so it takes two BB, that's just my... It's taking one BB and a number four at the moment. My goodness, I'm absolutely frying here. No one crouched down, I'll be in camouflage gear in a minute. There's one right by a honeycomb there. Right by a honeycomb. Just threw some bread out trying to get them up. Now he's gone down, I've got two patches. One patch here, one patch down there. I probably need to move that, this shot, up a bit. The float down. Oh, this fish, look. In goes the grub. Floats just settled. I'm going to move along a bit. Oh, they're coming back here now. I'd like to just see the size of the fish first. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a nice one. Here's the float. There's the float. There's the float. Floats right in amongst them. Right in amongst them. I think it needs to be... Oh, look at that one. I think it needs to be shallower than I've got it at the moment. Oh, I missed another one. I think that needs to be shallowed right up, guys. I think I've got to go for it. I think I've got to try a hornet itself. I'm assuming they ain't going to sting anybody. Just try and get him hooked. I wonder if that poison is actually still in them. There we go. Is that poison still going to be inside him? Or has it been neutralised? Well, oh, it looks pretty natural to me. Here he comes. Ooh, he turned off it. Oh, that's a good one. Have oh, you seen it? Has he seen it? That was a decent fish. Big one out the back. You can actually see it stand out pretty well. One in front of me here. It's all quite exciting. Look, 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 look. I'm trying to guess which way the come up and move in. Oh look, look, it's right by his nose. No, he turned off that, that's weird. That is weird, he turned off it, definitely. Definitely nosed it and turned off it. I'm wondering, do they know it's a hornet? Oh, I can see the sting on that one. My God, there's the sting. So pleased, so pleased I got them out of my uh, potting shed. Here he comes, he's close to me. Oh. It makes you wonder if I just took the float off and just sort of twitch it along the surface like it's trying to escape because you do often see them on the surface. I think I spooked that one. I wonder if they can actually see the hook, because it is. I haven't buried it. It does seem a bit peculiar playing with these things, because you know, you know they're not good news in the world. In the live state. What is that? That, that, that looks good enough to eat to me. Let's see if we can find a customer. I think he took it and I missed him. Going back to double live grub now. Oh. 
think he went there by that fish. Yeah. So, the white grub is soft, they like that, but they don't seem to like the fly, the actual hornet's body itself. The grub is so soft and juicy, it's unbelievable to them. Well, I think we've proved the point here. Chub, dace and carp. There we go, and there's a little float with it. Pretty as a picture. Quite like the camo effect. Wow. The actual grub's going well, but not the fly. Weird, I'm right on top of them. I wonder, because everybody uses floating crust and it's white, and they don't like the black, or whether they generally know that is a horn, hornet. Can't possibly be stung by one, unless they've took one off the surface before. Been passed down the fear factor genetically. Got a couple of real sharp bobs of the float. It's just like they take it and blow it out really fast. Well, they're still cracking on over there. Well, folks, I can't, I can't uh, seem to set the hook on them with the, with the actual hornet itself. There it goes, bam, bam, it's so fast they, they, they bump it out. But I'll see if I can get a hook up to camera using one of the uh, hornet grubs here for you. I'll put the bread in the top, brings them all up, they just are not having the actual hornet itself. The grub is just gone, man, it's just gone. Well, down to my last three or four hornets. No problem with the grubs, I've got to quite a few of these grubs. Put them in that shade. There's the fly. There's the hornet right in the middle of them. I've got a feeling it's just the colour. They don't like that colour. They just don't like hornets. Now it's sinking now. That'd be interesting. They're still going off those guys. Now if that was one of those grubs that would... Look, see I'm getting the takes. I'm just not connecting. Just to illustrate that, I'm going to put one of the larvae on. I mean, look guys, look at the size of it. It is a jumbo. A couple of bits of bread, just to draw them to that surface, and I'm going to try on the inside. They'd definitely be, I reckon, having this. I'll put it in the middle of the bread. Look, 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 just draw it back, let it sink. It's because it's soft, I think. Floats right there. Right between those two pieces of bread. And there you go. Exactly my point. They do not like the hornet, but they love these hornet grubs. Unbelievable bait. Right, I'm going to bring off because I'm running out of uh, battery. Well, this one was on the uh, lava. This one might be the close out kitty. Come on, fish. Yes, it's a good fish. There's a guy down there fishing. Any good, mate? Yeah, he's got one on there as well, look. 
good fish too. He knows what he's doing, that guy. Strange hairdo, though, isn't it? Well, I need to find another hornet's nest. Bring it off for a second. Got him, people. Let's put him on the map and check it out. You've got a mouth like the mother in law, but still, can't have everything. As I say, you can choose your friends, you can't choose your relatives. And there we go. Biggest fish on hornet grub. Whew. It's exhausting this fishing with hornet nests. Kind of miffed I didn't get one off the top on a real hornet. I've got three left, maybe I'll try it. Mulching up. Let's get that out and see what they think of that. Got him. Hope you got that that take, guys. <laughs> that was something. I'm out of battery on the other camera. And after this one, I think I'm going to call it quits. And that was just in down there. Nothing off the top on the actual hornet, but they love the lava. There we go, there's the grabs. And there's the fish. Job done.